Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can set an image to have multiple hyperlinks associated with it through the use of the hotspot tools available in the properties panel. An image that can be clicked in various areas in order to open hyperlinked documents associated with each area in the image is called an image map. Each area within the image that the user can click in order to open a hyperlinked document is called a hotspot. In this lesson, you will learn how to create hotspots on an image that you have inserted into your web page. To begin, select the image which you want to set as the image map within the document. Then click into the map text box in the properties panel and type the name which you want to give to the image map into the text box. If you have multiple image maps within the same web page, they must each have a unique name. Next, just click on the desired hotspot tool which you want to use in the lower left corner of the properties panel. You can click the rectangular hotspot tool to create a rectangular hotspot in the image map. After selecting this option, click and drag diagonally from one corner to another over the rectangular area within the image which you want to mark as a hotspot. To create a circular hotspot, just click the oval hotspot tool and then click and drag diagonally from one corner to another over the circular area within the image which you wish to mark as a hotspot. You can create a hotspot of almost any shape imaginable by using the polygon hotspot tool in the properties panel. Just click the button to enable the tool to begin. You can then click at the various points around the area within the image which you would like to set as the hotspot, which is good for irregular shapes. If you need to select one of the hotspots to move it or change its properties, you can click on the pointer hotspot tool button in the properties panel and then click and drag the hotspots you've drawn in order to move them. Note that once a hotspot is selected, you can then edit its properties in the properties panel. And this is where we can set the hyperlink for the selected hotspot. You can use the link text box to set the pathway to the hyperlink document. Just click the folder button at the right end of the link text box to launch the select file dialog box or you can select a document within your website to which you would like to set the link. You can also simply type the URL of the hyperlinked document into the link text box by hand. If you wish, you can also use the target drop-down to specify a target frame into which the hyperlink document will open. You can also type an alternative description for the hotspot into the alt text box. If you want to delete a hotspot which you've drawn, just select the hotspot which you want to remove, and then press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the selected hotspot. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!